Shalom, Shalom. I'm your brother Shemayim. I am from the Diligent Soldier Camp. Let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Shalom to the Bayad Dawada, Wa Sincere Akwathium who are staying in order according to the scriptures. You know, I pray to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai that this lesson is edifying to the elect. So let's start off. I got a scripture I want to bring out. Scriptures in the book of Matthews, chapter 28. We're going to start at verse 19, and it reads, Go ye, or go ye, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of my Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Now, any simple Christ Christian or any simple person or just anybody that the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is not dealing with them, you know, would read this verse, go ye therefore and teach all nations. And you would think that it's speaking about, you know, that this truth, right, the scriptures, the laws, statutes, and commandments are for all nations, right? This is what you would assume, not knowing that you got to go into the etymology of the word, and then you got to bring other precepts proving, you know, what the scripture is really saying, okay? And I'm going to prove to you that when it says, and teach all nations, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that these nations is talking about Israelites. Okay. So first, let's go to the blue letter. Okay. Let me show you. So in the blue letter, Matthews twenty eight nineteen, right? You go to tools, you go to the word nations, to the Strong's core coordinates, and there's ethnos. Strong's G, 1484, Eth Strong's G, 1484, ethnos, ethnos. So it's pronounced ethnos, ethnos. Okay, and when you look up at the definition of ethnos, it's saying Gentiles, right, nation, heathens, people, right, a multitude, whether of men, of beasts, associated or living together, a company, troop, swarm, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus, okay? The human family, a tribe, nation, people group. Okay? So we are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. It says, in the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles. Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. See? And Paul, he was the apostle to the Gentiles. And this is very important that Paul was an apostle to the Gentiles. Those Gentiles is talking about Christians, you know? So before we go there, and this one says a multitude of individual of the same nature or genus. So now when you look up the word genus, it says a principal taxo, taxonomic category that ranks above species, that ranks above species 
and below family and is deno denoted by a capitalized Latin name Leo um a philosoph a philosophical and general use, a class of things that have common characteristics and that can be divided into subordinate kind. Now we go down here. What is a genus easy definition? Genus, plural, genera, biological classification, ranking between family and species, considering of structurally or or silogenetically. So like if I um pronounce that right, pronounce that wrong. Silogenetically. Related species or a single isolated species exhibiting unusual different different differentiate differentiation salakia monotypic genus right so it's talking about a ranking between families okay and it's also talking about It says related species or a single isolated species exhibiting unusual differentiation. This reminds me of Israel, okay? Because first, when we go to the book of Deuteronomy, right? Chapter 6, verse 7, it reads, Salakia. Chapter, chapter 7, verse 6, it reads, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See, even here it's talking about a holy people. People take this and think it's talking about everybody, but it's talking about a specific nation. And if you read this chapter, you will understand that it's talking about, you know, um, Israel. All right. Now, when we go back, it says related species or a single isolated species exhibiting unusual different differentiation. Right. We are we are the same uh, race with differences. And I'm speaking about Israel only, right? So-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, we all have our difference, but we are the same race above all nations, okay? Now, let's go back to Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. From there, let's, go, let's get this scripture. I got two scriptures that I'm going to bring out. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 2, also written by Paul. And it reads, Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. You see? So we were Gentiles. Why were we Gentiles? Because we were we were, you know, worshiping other idols. We were committing the the acts of these heathens, going into the ways of the heathens. You know, before before I get this, I want to get this. Bear with me. Jeremiah ten and two. And it reads, thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. So thus says the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the ways of the heathen. See, our people, like I read, right, in, in 1 Corinthians 12 and 2, it says, ye know, ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away onto these dumb 
idols, even as ye were led. You see? Now, when we go when we grab the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 11, and it reads, Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision. You see? So it's talking about it's talking about because we were sinning. When we are in sin, we are uncircumcised. Okay? Who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So in the past, that ye been in time past Gentiles, right? This is talking about that Israel, we were Gentiles. Why? Because we stopped following the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. From there, let's get another precept. The book of Romans, chapter 3, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be chapter 9. Let me see. So it has to be chapter 9. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not. Okay? My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. It's talking about Paul, right? He says, I say the truth in Hamashiach. Talking about the Lord Yahweh Shai. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. You see, Paul saying that he wished that he could have been accursed for the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach because the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, he had a drink of that cup. He had a he had to be that that clean, unblemished, you know, sacrificial lamp for the sins. This is why in Spanish they call him el cordero, you know, the lamb, you know, for the sins of who? Right? For the sins of who? Let's get that. All right? The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. And it reads. Let's read from 27 and 29, right? And when they had brought them, the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 27, and when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Verse 30. Verse 30 reads, The God of our fathers, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of our fathers raised up, you know, even, even Moses, you know, the um, um King David. King Solomon, the God of our fathers, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Right? And talking about to the Pharisees, right? Him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Right? So the Lord Yahweh Shai, he was exalted with the Lord Yahweh's right hand to be a prince. The Lord Yahweh Shai is a prince. And a savior, and to give repentance to Israel. This is in the New Testament. Why didn't it say the world? Why didn't it say, you know, to to all nations and um and non-Israelites and forgiveness of sins? You see, you gotta let me see, you gotta understand how precepts are read. This is the book of, this is very important. 
our people do not understand this. And sometimes our people don't have the patience. They'll bring out a certain scripture, like the one I read in Matthew 28, verse 19, and bring out that nation. They'll use the same thing with John 3 and 16. They'll bring it out, and that's it. That's it. They read it from, from, from face value, if that's the proper uh, a term for it. They read it how they seen it, and that's it. They don't go in depths. They don't understand that the Old Testament was in the Hebrew, the New Testament is in the Greek, and then what we have now is translations. So the, we got to go into the, into, the, into the Hebrew and the Greek. We got to go into the etymology. We got to go into, the, into a deeper meaning, right? That being said... Um, on top of that, we got to read the precept, how the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai intended each precept to be read. And our people do not understand this. Okay. They'll read a simple, uh, uh, and there's a reason why I, I understand why, because you people, you people love these heathens, man. You know, I, I, look, I understand. I grew up with a, with a, with a, with a, you know, when I was young, young, uh, um, I act like I'm old, right? I'm still, I'm still in my youth. But when I was younger, um, I used to hang around with a with a couple Edomites. You know, the majority of my of my people, they were Jakes, and these Edom. I used to chill with these Jakes, so right through the spirit, they might be Jakes. You know, and when I say Jacob, I mean a descendant of Jacob. You know, that's what makes you an Israelite. But most likely, these men are Edomites. But through the spirit, I don't, the Lord separated me from those people, man. And the scripture said, if it be possible, live at peace with all men. So if I see a, a Moab, an Ammonite, an Ishmaelite, a, a Elamite, hey, man, I'm not going to go over there and, and be disrespectful for no reason. If you don't give me a reason to be disrespectful or, or you know, in the present time, ultimately as a nation, F your nation. Every nation has a, has had a part in our downfall, but this is not our kingdom. We're not going to go out here and just act reckless and, and, and take matters in our own hands. This is not what a man of the Lord is going to do right now in the present time. Not until Yahweh Shai comes back and gives us that power. But that's a lesson for another. That's a topic for another lesson. All right. So Isaiah 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, okay? Line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, you see? So when you read Matthew 28 and 10, it doesn't end there. First, you got to understand what that word nation goes into, all right? This is talking about Israelites, right? Ethnos, right? It's talking about Israelites, okay? From there, let's go back to Romans uh, chapter 9. It says, I say truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. You see? Paul is worrying about his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh. Verse 4, who are Israelites to whom, see, people just skip this. It says, who are Israelites. These are, these are Paul's brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. So the promises, the covenant, the laws, the service of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, the glory, the adoption is only for Israelites. Why didn't Paul say here that it was for everybody? Why is Paul called the 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 apostle to the Gentiles? Because those Gentiles are Israelites. Who got carried away to dumb idols, who went into the ways of the heathen. It's very simple. It's very simple, man. All right. I read to you an act who Yahweh Shah came for to give repentance of sin for Israel, Israel only. 
from there, let's go to the Let's see. In the same book of Matthews, okay, chapter 5, verse, I mean, chapter 10, verse 6, these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, So this is the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. See, he's talking about the real Gentiles. All right, the Samaritans as well. The Lord Yahweh Shai said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, so did the Lord Yahweh Shai, this is, this is for you Christians. Does the Lord Yahweh Shai contradict himself when in Matthew 28, he says, go to all nations and preach the gospel, baptizing them? Did he, did he? Does he contradict himself? Is your savior a man that contradicts himself? For you people that don't understand the Lord, man. No, the Lord does not contradict himself. Those nations is talking about Israelites. The scripture says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? Straightforward. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord is only dealing with Israelites, no other nation. Okay? And you can read that in the book of Matt in the book of Psalms, chapter 149, verse 19. How the law, statutes, and commandments were given to Israel and Jacob. Okay. Which Jacob's name got changed to Israel by an angel ordained by the Lord Yahweh. Alright, this is why we Israelites, because because Israel had 12 sons, and they are the progenitors of the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel. All right? And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Okay, only the elect is going to understand this. You people that are impatient, you just bring out a... And when I say you people, I'm speaking of... Because you... F you heathens, okay? But I'm talking about you Israelites that are with these heathens. You guys love these heathens. You guys... You guys have been put in a low predicament your whole living, your whole life, and you still want to save these heathens. Well, keep that spirit, man. Well, because when time, when shit gets real, these heathens are going to be for their own people. Trust and believe that. And, and you're going to think that they had your back. You're going to think that they had your back. You're going to think that they're going to have your back, but they won't. All right? Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Shalom to the Bayad Dawada, Wa, Sincere Akwathium, who are staying in order according to the scriptures. Lord willing, on to the next lesson. Shalom.